Welcome to the Miami International Boat Show 2024. Today, we are making a video talking about the best beginner slash entry level boats, guys. These are all gonna be center consoles around the range of like 20 to 24 foot, single outboard. These boats are gonna be very manageable when it comes to trailering, and it's going to be overall an excellent boat for you guys to have as your first boat. What is going on guys? Ryan from Living Salty here today. I'm extremely excited to be bringing you guys this entry level boat video. Now real quick before we dive into our first boat here, I just wanna let you know, keep in mind the boat prices here, they're, the boat market's just very expensive nowadays. So keep in mind the features and the brands and everything we're mentioning here, the sizes, and take this, and if it's still too expensive for you, then take a look at the used market. Look for these boats maybe a couple years old, second hand, pre-owned, don't be afraid of a couple scratches on the boat. It's gonna knock down that price way, way, way down. That being said, let's get into it. Today, we are starting off here at the Mako booth, taking a look at their 214 model. Now, this is going to be a 21 foot boat that only drafts 14 inches, which they actually told me is the same amount that a 26 foot Ranger drafts, which is a bay boat. That is extremely impressive and very forgiving if you're navigating the channels, maybe not sure where you go and you end up in some shallower water than you like. That 14 inches is going to be very forgiving for you when you guys are getting near that sandy bottom. I'll give you a quick overview here up in the bow. We're gonna have our anchor locker in the front. We're gonna have two forward fit seating situations over here, which we are gonna hop down and they are very comfortable upholstery here for what you get in with a 21 foot Mako. Some removable backrest and some storage that is gonna be right underneath my seat, right over here. We're gonna have our forward seating situation here, which is gonna have a removable cooler here and a seat on top of that, as well as a in-floor storage hatch right in the bow. As we make our way to the stern of the boat over here on the starboard side, we are going to have our cabin, which is gonna be a little folding door situation. As you can see, it's a nice size cabinet in there, plenty of room. Looks like you could probably stick a little head in there if you'd like. That is all you're gonna need in a cabin of this size. And we're gonna transition right to the helm station here. Take a look, we have our switches right on here, our bilge, live wall, all that kind of good stuff. Radio controls, we have our stereo over here. A little nice pad with a nice acrylic windshield here as well. Now over here, we're gonna have a little bench style seating helm seat with some rod holders equipped right behind it, along with a cooler underneath for all of your bait, food, waters, drinks, any of that kind of stuff that you like to store. Over here in the stern of the boat, we're gonna have our forward facing stern seating over here, which is actually going to have a little bit of storage underneath as well. Now this boat is going to be powered by a single Mercury 200 horsepower outboard engine. So that's gonna be our 214 Mako center console over here. Now this boat is going to be $87,000. That comes equipped with the Mercury 200 outboard, a trailer as well as the electronics you guys see in this boat. Now this is an absolutely awesome starter boat for you guys. Not only is it affordable compared to the rest of the boat market, Mako has already has actually been around for over 50 years by, uh, making boats and it is backed by Bass Pro Shops now. You guys, these are good old reliable holes that you can count on to take you offshore, get you out of any sticky, sticky, sticky situations that you might put yourselves into as a beginner boater. That wraps up the Mako here, on to the next boat. Now we are at the Nautic Star booth taking a look at their 222 OSL, which is an offshore center console here. Starting up in the bow of the boat, you could see something very unique over here, a little different shape, which actually something I've never really seen on center consoles before, kind of molds your body into the front. So that's a very cool feature. You have two of those here up in the front. And just sitting down now, I can tell you the upholstery quality on this boat is actually pretty decent for the price, that, the price range that we are in for this 22 foot center console. Very nice job here. Now up here in the bow of the boat, we're gonna have our anchor locker up in the front. We're gonna have a little bit of storage underneath the port and starboard sides of the cushions over here, along with the middle. And if you take a look over here, we have it set up with a backrest for our forward facing bow seating over here. Along with all these comfortable arrangements, we're also gonna actually have a removable table that is going to be able to be equipped right in here. Now we're gonna have our forward facing seating here, which again is good upholstery quality. And you're gonna be able to flip it open here. 
and check out the storage capabilities we have. I would personally load this down with ice, put our sandwiches, put our water bottles and everything like that for the day. We'll go ahead and close that up and we are going to have an in-floor storage here as well. Now the excellent upholstery quality here on this Nautic Star is going to continue down these side gunnels of the boat, continue all the way to the stern. And on the port side of the boat, we are going to have our cabin door over here, which you guys could take a look on in, is actually already going to come equipped with a head, which is always nice to have on a beginner entry boat for you, because if you are taking that family out on the water, you're definitely going to want to have that just in case of an emergency on the water. Now we're at the home station of our 222 Nautic Star center console here, one of my favorite places to be. You guys can see we have a very nicely equipped dash here with all of our switches, including our bilge, live wells, all that kind of stuff over here. We have a nice little half acrylic windshield, nice little area to throw any of our personal belongings up there. While we are at the helm station, I will let you guys know that this boat has a draft of 20 inches, which is a little bit more than that 21 Mako did, but it is still really good to be under two feet draft, just in case you run out that channel and accidentally run into some shallower water. Now, one thing that really did impress me when I first walked onto this Nautic Star was the helm seat. Look how comfortable of a helm seat this looks. You get a full bench seat, it is super comfortable. You get a backrest, you get four rod holders equipped right behind it here. And underneath our helm chair, we are going to have our cooler right underneath that you're going to be able to throw all of your ice, drinks, waters, baits, all that kind of stuff right inside. Now over here in the stern of the boat, we're going to have a fixed seating option. So at the beginning, I said this is the 222 OSL. So it's an offshore boat and the L is going to be the fixed transom over here. Now we're gonna take a look we can pull the seats off, you guys can see, we're gonna have some storage underneath the middle seat, along with some storage underneath the, both the port and starboard side as well. Now the rep at Nautic Star here did let me know that um, the other model that doesn't have the L would have a folding seat here instead of the whole entire fixed station over here, which if you guys are looking to do some fishing, that would be a great option because it'll give you a little bit more room in the cockpit over here. As a new boater, if you are looking to do your own maintenance, which I do definitely recommend trying to get hands on with your boat, bilge access is going to be really important. And that was a big priority here at Nautic Star. Look at the size of this hatch you can open here on this 22 foot center console and take a look at that bilge access. We're gonna be able to access our batteries nice and easily. We can see our bilge pumps, fuel filters, everything like that is going to be nice and easy to access over here. We even have our water tank. Guys, this is the kind of access you wanna be working with, especially if you're just starting to get into doing your own boat maintenance yourself. Now over here on the swim platform of the Nautic Star, we're gonna have a little ladder to get in and out of the boat. We're gonna have our Yamaha 200 outboard here as well as a live well on the port side of the boat. Now this 222 OSL Nautic Star Center console can be yours for $84,000. Like I said before, this is a great boat to look for. If that is gonna to be too much money for you, look for it second hand, look for it a couple years older, um, and that you're gonna get an absolutely great deal on a really, really solid boat. And that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for today's video of the best beginner slash entry level boats here at the Miami International Boat Show. Let me know down in the comments what you guys like better than the 21 Mako or the 22 Nautic Star. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like this video, make sure you hit the like button and definitely consider subscribing down below. I'm gonna go ahead and link another video that I think you guys are really gonna like over here at the end at the left side of the screen. Make sure you guys go check that out. And so my next video, remember to keep living salty.